The Living Gallery is so amazing in supporting us to hold a space to present women artists that you might not have ever heard of, like Rebecca Soul, who is just up here serenading you with her guitar, or poets like myself, or the rest of the women who will be coming up later tonight. And we also throw a little open mic in there in case you have any type of artist in your heart you want to share with us. It's really just a space so we can create and exchange a piece of ourselves through art, right? Because art is essentially a piece of you, it's a piece of your soul. It comes from a place deep inside of you that you might not necessarily know is so powerful, right? But we create pieces of art through our drawings, through our words, even through our regular day jobs that in one way or another touches somebody else and that's how you know you've made art. So we hold this space every month to bring you some of the most talented female artists that, in my opinion, are just not getting enough play. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're just not showed enough. So we show them here every third Wednesday of the month. So thanks so much for sticking around. Okay.
So if no one is gonna tell you, why don't you love you? Yeah, yeah. If you don't know your queen, who else is going to tell you? Say we're born bathed in beauty. They will never feel what it is to be called ugly, to be rejected, to have their heart broken, or to be disrespected for what they look like. And I mean, it's not their fault what they look like. They were born that way. What the fuck do I look like holding my tongue? Not speaking my truth. Telling the stories of the rest of us who weren't born perfect. Those of us who spent our whole lives learning everything that beauty was and everything that black isn't. We had to find self-definition somewhere between these two extremes. Eventually, we swallowed the harsh reality that we may never conceive an American dream. Because our blackness wasn't necessarily written into this red, white, and blue. So what is the black girl supposed to do? I mean, how am I supposed to raise a black girl through this in a country that counter is nothing more than a statistic? Please help me because I need some answers. See, right now, in this life, I have a daughter who is four. And in a couple years, she's going to look to me to explain to her everything that a woman should be. The same way I look to my mother, a woman ten shades lighter than me, she measured beauty on a scale of beige to white. What the fuck is that? I mean, how is mahogany skin me supposed to combat the need for her attention? See, for her affections, every day I studied the rule trying to become the exception, making myself brighter and brighter and lighter, weighting my intellect and my inflections just for her acceptance. Except one day I looked in the mirror and I found that I was exactly like her. It makes me happy. When I see you smiling, you're all over my world. The footsteps you've been traveling, you're not here. I taste you in my coffee, that sugar.